Hi there, my name is Sandy Esprit and I'm going to show you how to get really easy makeup. So this is a beginner friendly makeup tutorial as well as uh, how to put it on the easiest, pretty much the easiest last lashes or falsies that you'll ever wear in my personal opinion at home get salon quality and i was gifted the velour extension lash kit this is my second time wearing them don't forget to subscribe because i'm coming in fresh with the tips and um stay tuned Hi there, okay, so for starters, we are using the primer, the Sephora Super Hydrating Matte Moisturizer. This actually is one of my favorite, and I'm actually very upset that they discontinued it because it really acted as an amazing primer. It was a moisturizing primer that left my face matte. Next, I'm moving on with the concealer. This is the Quo Beauty Miracle Cover Concealer. This is shade W6. You can get it at Shoppers. This is a very affordable concealer um, that goes on matte. Now, like it's not the best concealer I've ever used, but for the price, it is actually really good. It covers very well. And so just started using it and I apply it right underneath my eye uh, in the corners going out and the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm moving on with the bronzer LYS No Limits Cream Bronzing Stick and I apply it right on the jawbone, like the jawline, the cheekbone, the temple area, the sides of the bridge of my nose to like sculpt it. So I'm, it's like a two-in-one bronzer contour stick and as well as the outer corner of my eyes and I'm gonna actually draw it up from the bridge of my nose all the way up to my eyebrow and this part is important it's blending and this is how I start my makeup every single time and without fail it has given me the best results at least I like it from my face um, it just makes it very easy very fast I'm not too worried about like oh am I bronzing the right ways or am I highlighting in all the right places is it contouring enough I start off with that base and I blend blending ensures that you know all the harsh lines are gone your makeup ends up really looking natural uh, it it really just looks like your skin it's enhancing your skin and drawing the light where you wanting it to be guiding the light and the shading where you want it so as to kind of like give you that warmth um, as well as providing some structure i will say and it's just a very natural easy way of doing so and this technique is actually under painting i discovered it on tiktok uh, from mary phillips so after i've done this i'm going to move on with my foundation which is a smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer with spf 25. listen this tinted moisturizer goes with me everywhere I go. It is, I know it's a moisturizer, but I use it as a foundation. And I'm just gonna use a regular powder brush to blend it all out. And I can build this up or I can make it very sheer. I love how versatile it is. I've known some people who use it and mix it with other foundation to kind of provide a little bit of oomph. The shade I'm using is shade tan and I actually used I tried it on with the virtual, they have like a virtual try on on their website, which I thought was amazing. But you can also get this at like shoppers as well. Super, super convenient, super easy um, to actually get your correct foundation and the right shade matching. Next, I'm gonna set with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Setting Powder. I got the mini travel size because I don't use a whole lot of it. And those triangular puffs are boom. I use them to set the concealer because like I said, it's not like the most long lasting long wearing, but I do find that when I set it with this particular uh, setting powder, and this is again the Charlotte Tilbury, this is shade 2, it just gives me flawless skin, right? Like I don't have bags anymore. Where have they gone? I don't know. Okay, maybe you can tell that it's still there, but it's minimized and it doesn't look as bad. For my blush, I'm using the LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. This is a shade and power, and the reason I'm showing you the back is because I often forget, the, I, I always forget names, I just use color. I'm like, I see color, so I'm like, let me, let me get the color. So, hence the reason why this is off of their limited edition that they had out during Christmas. I still have them. They last so long, and the pigment that you get off of it is amazing. 
So for my highlighter, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. You can get this at any drugstore. This is affordable. I've used this since it first came out. And for the price, you are getting glow. But not in an obnoxious way, in a very nice, um, very nice sheer way but still packs a punch and i'm gonna also apply some of that over my eyelid i'm gonna set it with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray one of my favorite sprays out there and i honestly always spray it on here's a hack if you want your makeup to last longer spray it on before you put on your makeup for my eyebrows i'm using the quo beauty eyebrow pencil um again got it at shoppers now i have brows and so i didn't oh, i wasn't into my over plucking era simply because i was not allowed to do my brows growing up so what i often do is i just add some very small strokes really really small because you don't want it to come off like really weird and obnoxious and i'm just gonna add it at the front really kind of like right where my eye actually starts and i'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest my brows do need to be taken care of i do have to trim them off the top because like the, they just be flying away all kinds of directions but i really take my time and small strokes just to fill it in especially around like yeah the top area just really needs to be touched up now i'm checking to make sure that i haven't gone overboard as i often do i tend to like overstroke, especially at the top but it's looking a little empty but yeah right there and that's where i like to touch up here i am cheering myself on i'm uh, making sure that i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing even though it's already been done but yeah i just really want to make sure that it's all filled in that my brow just look just uniform right um i don't want it to look too small i really wanted to frame my face because brows really do make a difference when it comes to framing the face so right there my brow uh my camera actually died so i had to like go back start it again and it i was surprised it cut off at that point like right when it was time for me to go on to the next brow <laughs> um but anywho side note just remember that your brows are sisters they are not twins and that took me so long so so long to accept y'all i used to try to make them look exactly the same so i'd end up with two weirdly shaped caterpillars um on the side of my face and I, I it was it used to bother me one would start one way and end another way it just never looked right now that i've accepted that one side of my face will look always will look different than the other side i can just go ahead and fill in my brows one thing i do like about this brow pencil is that i can like use my fingers to wipe it off before it sets and around there it kind of started peeling i'm not exactly sure what that was about but here we are still trying to figure out what products work well with what yeah i'm not i wasn't really too keen on the peeling part but I want it to look as natural as possible, so those small strokes are super, super necessary. And I'm going to use the brush there to kind of just tame those extra long hair. I could trim them, but I didn't. I'm, I'm, I be feeling lazy these days. Like I just want my body to cooperate. Next is the lashes from the Velour Extension False Lashes Hybrid Kit, and I got this from Velour. Thank you so much. You can get this at Sephora. They have three different sizes. I'm gonna take the one, use the bonding glue that it came with, and I'm just gonna apply it right at the end there, like right where the the yeah you can see, right at the end there. Um. And I love how small it is because it makes it for precise application. Now, I like also this natural approach to falsies, making it look, just giving it that volume, but in a natural look. And I'm going to apply it right underneath there um, and just making sure that it works and that it looks the way I want it to. Now, this may feel intimidating at first, but it's really, really easy to apply. One thing that I was supposed to do is that they say you're supposed to apply it on your lash hair as well, like underneath, but I didn't. And I just did that one step. And now I'm gonna take the more, uh, the bigger size one, and I'm gonna apply that right in the middle. I like having volume that looks natural and having the bigger one on the ends for me tend to make my like eyes look droopy and weird so i like to apply that right in the middle which naturally that's where i have the most volume like the longest part like the longest hair on my lash line is actually in the middle it's not at the end 
So in keeping with the natural look of my eye, I'm just going to go ahead and lift that eyelid. I have small eyes. So lift the eyelid and apply the lashes there. And there you have it. It's just natural volume. I did that both sides. And next is the LYS Beauty Lip Oil Treatment. Um, this is shade Fancy, I believe. And I'm going to go and that's it. Like that's my soft look. I'm not going to say soft girl, but it's just an, a daily, everyday, nice, natural look. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, this was really easy to follow and that it helps you kind of just, um, it gives you some idea ways of making like your makeup application super easier, at least easier than it was before. Um, so by all means, please don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll put all the links of all the products I have used in the caption below. Don't forget to subscribe, click like, share with a friend. And once again, thank you very much, Valor, for the Velour Extension Lash Kit. And as you've seen, it didn't take long for me at all. There are some steps that I did skip, uh, kind of just because my own personal preference. But aside from that, these are things that you can do at home to help just get you in and out ready for the day, especially when it comes to makeup application. And it's super easy and simple to follow, right? So comment down below and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Ciao for now.